What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Zur location and inventory review for the weekend of April 19th to the 22nd and so let's get started. And first things first, Zur is going to be located in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. All right, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for the exotics, we do have uh, the Skyburner's Oath, kind of a mid scout rifle. We have the Frosty's 64 Discipline Resilience. It's all right. Sorry, it's just kind of mid. Uh, Ursa Furiosa's 65 Big Recovery and Strength. Eh, not really too interested by that. <laughs> and oh, a 69 stat Starfire with a massive recovery spike, a little bit of discipline too. Um, unfortunately, the Starfire was nerfed pretty significantly. Doesn't really see a ton of play right now. Honestly, you could absolutely justify if you don't have a good Starfire, picking it up for the future, like hedging your bets if it ever get, gets buffed again, if it ever becomes meta again. This is a, a pretty crazy stat distribution here. You'd maybe want more discipline if you're really being nitpicky, but overall, this is pretty amazing. Just again, it did get nerfed and doesn't really see a ton of play. Now, moving on from there, guys, we do have uh, the weapons. The Yon 7 with Firmly Planted Outlaw, not really interested in that. The Subsistence Moving Target Death Adder, no. Subsistence Frenzy Legal Action, I mean, Subsistence is actually not bad with the Legal Action. Frenzy, not too much, because um, it's not going to be that good in PvE, and that's where Frenzy is really good. Um, An Under Your Skin with Explosive is very good. Like, th this is one of the better uh, Void Bows in the game for PvE, PvE because of Explosive, but generally Tunnel Vision is not what you want to pair with it. Now, I should uh, note, uh, this is craftable, so you can technically take it out, use your uh, Deep Sight Harmonizers on this if you want it to, and so is the uh, Brigand's Law. Now, this role is actually a lot more interesting. Generally, the Brigand's Law is best with Volt Shot, but hey, Pugilist plus Swashbuckler? That's a wombo combo right there. Not to mention the origin trait is all about melees. So like this is, if you really want to build some kind of arc melee build with the Brigham's Law, this is the role for you. Not going to be that good, but still you can do it. And <laughs> now uh, the Killing Wind, Kill Clip, Corsair's Wrath, no thank you. Genesis, Snapshot, Tarantula, also no thank you. Let's see the Hawkmoon on the back. Well, we have a Snapshot Sights Hawkmoon with Arrowhead Break. Not really too interested in that. Now, first of all, let's check the armor rarity on light.gg for the Holdfast set. Now, this set was originally introduced back in Season 11, and it is an extremely common set with over 51% of Guardians having access to this very helmet. But let's check the rolls here. 64 on the gauntlets, not too much strength, kind of a mid-roll. 63, Resilient Spike, Intellect Spike, again, eh, kind of average. Now, 66 with a heck of a lot of recovery. Generally, you'd want to see something like this on the Warlock, but if you are a Titan who needs a little bit more recovery you keep dying, you can uh, maybe pick this up. 64 here, again with the recovery spike. Am I on a Warlock? What's going on here? Uh, kind of okay, and let's move on from there to the Warlock. How much you guys want to bet there is no recovery on the Warlock armor, but let's see. All right, for the Warlock, first things first. Okay. Dude, I'm buying this. I mean, yeah, I know it's nerfed, but like, come on, look at that recovery. That's insane. Okay, now, as with the other armor, uh, 64 with a big resilience spike. <laughs> what did I tell you? This should be on the Titan. Uh, still not a bad piece. Definitely lacking in recovery, but you may need it. Um, massive intellect spike here. Too much mobility. No, thank you. 61, not spiky. No, thank you. 61, weird spikes. Resilience, intellect strength. Yeah, not really interested in that. Let's go check the hunter. All right, for the hunter. Uh, 65, discipline, recovery, resilience. Actually, really not terrible gauntlets, honestly. Uh, then we've got, whoa, 66, massive resilience spike, and then massive intellect spike. If this was in discipline, I'd be a lot more interested. It's all right. Uh, then we have massive strength spike here with the helmet. If you're making a, you know, a build that wants strength, you could consider that. Oh. Oh. Right, I'm in, dude. Like, massive, massive recovery spike. A little bit of discipline. A little bit too much, like, intellect strength you could argue i guess and missing mobility and resistance but like this is a good like offset piece right a lot of people the problem is that 
every single armor piece they look for is like, oh, max discipline, max mobility, whatever. And then you put together your pieces and you realize I have 120, you know, discipline. Right? You need sometimes pieces like this that can shore up the other stats. And so having like one piece that gives you 30 recovery can be very, very useful. This is probably a good pickup for a lot of people. Um, overall, again, would be better on the Warlock, but still, like a spike like this, you can't ignore. I think the best thing this weekend has got to be the Starfire. Like that is such a massive total stat number and recovery spike. Like this is just wild for the Warlock. Yes, it's nerfed, but hey... Everything's nerfed until it's not, right? Until Bungie comes along, buffs it, and the meta just completely shifts. And Bungie does that like once a month. So 100%, I would say pick this up, especially because it costs legendary shards that are literally being deleted in file shape. What else are you doing with your legendary shards here, gamers? Definitely pick up the Starfire. Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.